You're standing in line at the coffee shop, ordering your usual caramel latte with two pumps of vanilla, and somewhere deep inside your body, your kidneys just sighed. What if the real reason you feel tired and bloated every afternoon isn't age or stress, but something your kidneys have been trying to tell you for years? Today I'll explain what happens to your kidneys when you quit sugar for 30 days like you're 5 years old. By the end, you'll understand why those first 72 hours are the hardest, and why your kidneys might be silently failing right now without sending you a single warning sign. Right now, your two fist-sized kidneys are filtering roughly 50 gallons of blood every single day. That's like cleaning enough water to fill a bathtub, constantly, without stopping. When sugar floods your bloodstream, your kidneys shift into overdrive mode. They're forced to handle waste they weren't designed to process at that volume. Think of it like a water filter. Works perfectly with clean water. But if you keep pouring sticky syrup through it, the filter clogs, weakens, and eventually breaks down. That's exactly what decades of sugar do to your kidneys. The terrifying part? You won't feel anything wrong until about 70% of kidney function is already gone. By the time you notice symptoms like swelling or fatigue, the damage is mostly permanent. Here's what most doctors don't emphasize enough. High sugar intake triggers something called lamellar hyperfiltration. Sounds technical, but it just means your kidneys are filtering blood at maximum speed all day long. It's like revving your car engine at redline constantly. Sure, it works for a while, but eventually, parts wear out. Your kidneys have millions of tiny filters called nephrons. And when sugar forces them into overdrive, these nephrons start dying off. Once they're gone, they don't grow back. A study from Harvard found that people consuming high amounts of added sugar face significantly higher risks of chronic kidney disease, even if they feel perfectly healthy right now. But here's where it gets interesting. When you quit sugar, your kidneys don't just stop declining. They actually start repairing themselves. Within the first few days, something remarkable happens. Your body stops producing as many advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. These are sticky molecules that literally age your kidneys faster. They attach to proteins in your kidney tissues and cause inflammation and scarring. Research shows that reducing sugar lowers AGE levels almost immediately. Your blood becomes cleaner. Your kidneys start working more efficiently. It's not magic. It's just biology finally getting a break. Now here's what nobody warned you about in those first 72 hours. Your brain is addicted to quick glucose spikes. So when you suddenly cut sugar, you might get headaches, mood swings, and intense cravings. You'll feel tired and irritable. Some people describe it like caffeine withdrawal, but worse. Your brain is literally complaining because it's been trained to expect easy fuel. But while your brain throws a tantrum, your kidneys are quietly celebrating. The sudden drop in sugar means less pressure on the filtration system almost right away. You won't feel this relief because kidneys don't have pain receptors like your head does. But deep inside, the stress is dropping. And here's why that stress reduction matters. Sugar doesn't just mess with blood glucose. It hijacks your blood pressure too. When you eat sugar, insulin levels spike. High insulin signals your kidneys to hold on to sodium and water. The result? Your blood pressure climbs. Your ankles swell. Your kidneys strain under the extra fluid volume. This is why people who eat lots of sugar often feel bloated and exhausted. But when you quit sugar, this process reverses. Within two weeks, many people see measurable drops in blood pressure. The kidneys stop retaining excess water. Swelling decreases. It's like turning down the volume in a noisy room. Here's something that'll surprise you. Most people blame salt or dehydration for kidney stones, but sugar is actually a major hidden trigger. High sugar intake increases calcium excretion in your urine. More calcium means more crystals. More crystals means kidney stones. A study in the Journal of Urology found that people with the highest sugar intake had dramatically higher rates of kidney stones. But here's the hope. Within just 30 days of quitting sugar, your urinary composition starts improving. Less calcium. Fewer crystals. Lower risk of those excruciating stones forming. Now check this out. By week three without sugar, something measurable happens in your urine. One of the earliest warning signs of kidney damage is protein leaking into your urine. Healthy kidneys keep protein in your blood where it belongs. But when the filtration barrier gets damaged by years of sugar overload, protein starts slipping through. It's like a screen door with holes. Studies show that when people cut sugar significantly, this protein leakage often decreases. That means the filtration barrier is strengthening. 
The kidneys are healing. This isn't some vague wellness claim. It's a concrete biological improvement you can measure in a lab. Here's what you need to understand about inflammation. Chronic sugar intake sparks oxidative stress throughout your entire body, especially in your kidneys. High blood sugar damages blood vessel walls and triggers inflammatory molecules. Over time, this inflammation causes scarring in kidney tissue. Once scar tissue forms, function declines permanently. But research shows that within 30 days of quitting sugar, inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein start falling. Lower inflammation means less damage to blood vessels and kidney tissues. This reduction in inflammation also brings bonus effects. Clearer skin, fewer headaches, more stable energy throughout the day. This matters to your future because one of the leading causes of kidney failure worldwide is uncontrolled diabetes. And diabetes is fueled largely by diets loaded with added sugars. Constant high blood glucose damages the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys, gradually leading to diabetic nephropathy. When you quit sugar for 30 days, your insulin sensitivity often improves significantly. Your body needs less insulin to handle glucose. That protects both your pancreas and your kidneys. Researchers found that even moderate reductions in sugar intake can dramatically lower your risk of progressing from pre-diabetes to full type 2 diabetes. And here's what that really means in practical terms. Dialysis isn't just inconvenient. It's three sessions per week, four hours each session, hooked to a machine that does what your kidneys can no longer do. Your entire life revolves around appointment schedules. Your energy crashes, your diet becomes severely restricted. Many people on dialysis can't work full-time anymore. The five-year survival rate after starting dialysis is only about 35%. That's worse than many cancers. And all of this can often be prevented by choices you make right now, today, in the coffee shop line. So here's the reality check. Can just 30 days really make a difference? Absolutely yes. While chronic damage takes years to accumulate, improvements in kidney stress markers begin within weeks. Blood pressure drops. Protein leakage decreases. Inflammation falls. Your urine itself might become clearer, indicating reduced waste overload. These aren't huge dramatic transformations. They're subtle but meaningful signs that your kidneys are stabilizing. The important thing to understand is that 30 days isn't the finish line. It's the starting point. Once you experience the difference in energy, mood, and measurable health markers, the real question becomes, why would you ever go back? Here's the final truth most people who try this discover. The benefits are so profound that many choose not to return to high sugar eating. Long-term studies consistently show that people who maintain low sugar diets have significantly lower risks of kidney disease, heart disease, and diabetes. Every day without added sugar is another day of protection against a future hooked up to dialysis machines. Of course, the occasional dessert won't destroy your kidneys, but daily excess absolutely will. So to recap, your kidneys filter 50 gallons of blood daily, and sugar forces them into damaging overdrive. The first 72 hours without sugar are tough, but your kidneys immediately benefit. Within 30 days, you'll see lower blood pressure, reduced illumination, better filtration, and decreased kidney stone risk. Sugar drives diabetes, which is the leading cause of kidney failure worldwide. Even one month proves your kidneys can heal when you give them the chance. So here's my question for you. If you could see inside your body right now and watch your kidneys struggling in real time, would you still order that caramel latte or would today be the day you finally choose differently?